Okay, hi everybody. So uh, I wanted to record this video to show you guys a quick hack, uh, but first I'll show you um, what motivated me to share this with you guys. So if you see on my screen, Andy Cockreave posted uh, a tweet the other day asking about how many additional calculations people end up utilizing to get the functionality that they want. So in this responses, uh, you could see one from Brittany saying that she's working on a hex map and she wants two different color labels. Uh, so for on the darker marks, she wants white labels. On the lighter marks, she wants black labels. And so she ended up making four separate calculations to support this. So we see uh, black and white text for cost, which is the number down below, and then black and white text for country code. And I'm going to show you guys how you can do this just utilizing uh, one extra calc. There's still a hack to it, right? It's still a workaround. Um, it's not perfect or, or native within the tool, but hopefully uh, this will help streamline that process. Um, also, this is something that you can use uh, if you need multiple, right? So she's just using two here, black and white text, but if you need multiple colors, um, which I'll show you an example of in a second then this works for that too <clears throat> um here's where i did that using multiple colors and that's this is actually the first time i think i developed uh the method that i'm going to show you but i wanted to make this modern view of a calendar so within this workbook i have different examples of calendar views that you can make in tableau uh, and in this one i knew i wanted the text here and the text here to be the same color as the background right i wanted it to feel really cohesive and streamlined but um, i didn't want to make separate calculations for each of these boxes so i can color them all separately uh, and so i found this little hack that i will show you guys now so jumping into the viz, here I have um, her Makeover Monday open this week. I'll also link it down below where you can see the hex map that we're going to be working on today. So going on to that sheet, uh, you can see that she has, uh, similar to what we were looking at on Twitter, different fields on text based on how she wants them to show up. If we open that up and label, you'll see they're all here, black, white, black, white for the different colors. Um, and then going into the actual calculation themselves, and I'll link the, the blog that she referenced to do this um, in the, the chance that the method that I'm about to show you doesn't work in all cases. This still works, but um, I think the two primary challenges that you're going to find with this method are one, it's a lot more calcs, but two, it doesn't scale very well. So like I said in the example that I showed, uh, if she had more than two colors, um, she would have to make however many more calculations. Uh, and so, like I said, I'm gonna show you how to do it with just one, but uh, the way that this is working is she's saying above a certain level, uh, which is the field that she's using to color the marks uh, in the hex map, then display whatever text, in this case it's the cost, but it could be the country code for the other field, otherwise null. Um, so in just those cases, the text is showing up and that's how she's able to color it. So uh, I'm going to show you guys what I do. Um, the first thing we're going to do is pull off all of the ones that she had. In case you did not know, um, you can multi-select fields to remove them all at once. Um, side tip within the larger tip. Okay, so next we are going to uh, create a dual access uh, of the same exact chart. So. <clears throat> I'm just going to duplicate hex row, um, dual axis. We want to synchronize axis, so it should look the exact same so far. Uh, and then just unshow the header here. And we're going to be working on um, the second one. So uh, as I mentioned, you only need one additional calc. The one additional calc is going to be a duplicate of whatever field is going to indicate the difference in color. So in this case, <clears throat> that field is going to be um, this total yearly living costs and fees because that's what's indicating the color of the marks and she wants to color the text based on how dark the mark is. So we are going to uh, duplicate that and then just so we don't get them mixed up, I'm going to I kind of like to just rename them from here. I know I can rename them in the data pane, but for some reason I just don't like it as much. Uh, and I'm just gonna say color um, so that I know the difference between the two. Uh, another thing that I want to reference here is because we duplicated uh, a field that's already in the data source, 
it's just referencing that field, which is fine. If you're duplicating a calculation, what I'd actually recommend that you do, and we're gonna have to make a, an example for this. So let's say this was sum of that same field. When you go and duplicate this, it actually makes a copy of that calculation, so it's the sum of that same field. I would take this out and just reference um, the original field. The reason that I recommend doing this is because uh, it's just going to scale and live well better over time. Um, let's say that this calculation needed to be changed at some point, right? Now it's minus one. You don't have to go and change this one because this is already referencing this. If you kept them the way it originally works when you duplicate, then you would need to remember that every time you updated one calc, you'd have to change the other calc. So this is the way I'd go about it if um, you were duplicating a calculation, but we were not, so we didn't have to worry about that. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to bring this field on to color. Uh, just on the second mark that we created. So it's the same thing here. And then we're going to go to edit colors. So actually, let me go to the original one. Um, she just has a, a four stepped uh, color range here. We're going to do a stepped color range as well, but we're only going to do two. The reason that we're choosing two is because that's how many font colors that we want. So remember, this is about the font and not the actual marks. Um, and then we're going to go to custom diverging and we're just going to pick the two. So her um, lower numbers are the lighter colors, which means we want that to be the black font. And then her higher number is the darker color. So that's going to be the white font. Now, <clears throat> it changed the entire mark to those colors. We will fix that in a minute. But first, let's add on the fields that we need for text, which our country code as well as that yearly living costs and fees right so here's where uh the original problem comes in it's just one uniform uh color across all of the marks now we are going to go into the font and choose match mark color it looks like the labels are gone the labels aren't gone what is happening now is the white marks have white font, the black marks have black font. You're probably looking at this now and thinking this is not very helpful, Autumn. But aha, uh -huh, one moment. What we're going to do now is go into the shape and change it from uh, the hexagon that she's using for the hex map. I'm gonna go to my trusty transparent shape. There are infinite uses for this. I will link a blog from one of the Furwash twins uh, down below uh, in case you haven't heard of this yet. So I'm gonna choose transparent and there you have it. So it has the exact same appearance as hers here, uh, but only with one additional calculation, though obviously you do have to create more marks uh, because we do have a dual axis chart now. Uh, but because we said, hey, for anything on the lower end of that spectrum, <clears throat> we want the mark to be black. Anything for the higher end of that spectrum, we want the mark to be white. And then we want the label to be that mark color. Uh, that's what's creating the differentiation between the two font colors. But then we change the mark to a transparent shape. So we're not actually seeing that mark anymore, uh, but it's retaining that, that differentiation in the color. Uh, this is, I think it's very straightforward. Uh, it's very simple to set up. It's one of those things that's kind of tricky to explain. So I hope that I did it justice. But uh, if you're looking to implement this method on something that you're doing and you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I hope this helps you uh, in creating one less calc, or in this case, a few less calcs, uh, to get your view to be the way that you want it to. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.